Hey, I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're the Crafty Lumberjacks. We're really excited to be here for Works Tools today, chatting all things Maker X, focusing on the heat gun. Now, if you're new to the Maker X system, it's a tool made for makers, crafters, and DIYers. Yes, they have all the tools you need made better, smarter, more precise, and even portable. They're tools designed with you, the maker, in mind. There are a handful of different tools in the Maker X system, and they all connect to this single hub. This hub then connects to a battery, and the battery that you use is the 20 volt power share battery. Now this doesn't just work for the Maker X, this battery can be used for the entire 20 volt power share line, meaning we use it for our leaf blower, our drill, our, our head trimmers. trimmers. Yeah, we use them all around. Now, Works Tools is always coming up with new stuff and advancing. The new hub now has a USB port and a clip, meaning that it's even more portable than before. Yes, because us crafters, we're crafting everywhere. Oh, yes. <laughs> This is the Maker X Mini Heat Gun. It's one of the simpler tools in the whole line of the Maker X tools. Really easy to use. You just plug it into the hub and then you turn it on with the power switch on the hub. And it reaches 500 degrees Fahrenheit very quickly. So we do recommend to wear gloves and eyewear. It also has a precision nozzle, which is great for directing the heat. And it comes with a built-in cradle, meaning that when you're working, you can set it on your tabletop and it will keep everything nice and safe. Now you're probably wondering, what would I use a heat gun for? <laughs> well, we like to use it for a handful of different projects. We actually use our heat gun when we're working with shrinkable plastic. We also use it for embossing powder, which is a really great way to elevate a lot of your crafts. Yes, we also like to use it for hacks around our apartment. We actually use the heat gun to remove labels from bottles. Really easy to do. And actually, uh, you know, then we'll be able to upcycle our bottles so that we can use them in another craft project. Yes, win-win. Also, if you're trying to craft quickly, this can really help if you're painting, wave it around a bit. This will really help speed up that drying time. Now, some of our favorite tips while working with the heat gun, mine is to hold it like a pencil. You'll have more control that way. Totally, and mine is to never keep it in one spot because this does get very hot, so it will burn your material. Wave it around, keep it a few inches away from your material, and keep it in a constant motion, and you will be set. Yes, I'm, I'm Vanna Whiting it. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, we can't wait to see what you make. Yes, we're actually gonna take this and remove some labels right now. Yeah, see Bye. you soon.